Greetings and welcome to another preview video here at Words About Games and today we're looking at fights in tight spaces which according to the Steam store page is a stylish blend of deck building turn based tactics and thrilling animated fight sequences in classic action movie settings. Learn to balance your hand momentum and positioning to overcome the odds to defeat your adversaries. Build your deck control the space and live to fight another day. The game is developed by Ground Share, published by Mod7 and is due for release sometime in 2020. So, let's click it. I assume I have to click on the training. Because that just makes sense. Let's have a look. Fight in tight spaces is a turn-based deck building fighting game. Use the mouse to highlight cards in your hand. Press the mouse button to select one. Move the selection cursor to the board to highlight your target. Tile for the card. Okay, it seems simple enough. There's more. I can cancel stuff. Anytime, press Alt to show the health and turn order of all characters on the board. Press Return to finish. Okay, so I'm going to need my keyboard. Um, here we go. Defeat all enemies, lose no health. Defeat enemies within five turns. Can I move the camera? I apparently cannot. All right, so let's have a look at these cards. Add six block. Front kick. Uh, Why don't I push Alt? Okay. One, two. So that guy's gonna, that person's gonna go first. That person's gonna go second. I can move past target, gain one momentum, and move two quick strike, deal six damage up to two tiles away, maintain range. Deal six damage, slip, move around target. So how many moves I can do th in a turn? Can I just play my entire deck? What's this? Okay, I guess I just I guess I can. I guess this number on the top of the card on the top right of the card is how many points it takes to this. So I guess I got three. Okay, let's. Okay, so I think I get it. I'm gonna block, and then I'm gonna end my turn. Oh, interesting, okay. So these characters queue up actions, and then you can manipulate them around the board. So that person is going to attack this way, that person is going to attack this way. So if I shift it around and push that, that person to this square, that person would then attack this square. Okay. Okay, I get it. I can. I've got two two cards here that do nothing. Oh, sorry, they do something, but they deal. Simon targeting one an adjacent wall. Okay. Let me shift to here. Why can I click on that one? I don't think I can really use takedown because of where I'm standing. Move one tile in any direction. Let's shove you in and push one tile left to right of their current position. Okay. I feel like for that to work, yeah, I get, I, I think I get where I would need to be. And shove left to the left or right, I'm guessing that. Okay. Let's just, that can be my turn. I have to defeat the enemies within three turns. It's fine, because they, they're almost, they're almost done. If I front kick that guy, that one, bam, he's out. And then I'll just quick strike this one. Bam, he's out.
What's this? Why is this not over? Do I have to finish them off or? I don't get it. Am I supposed to hit that arrow? What do I stand into? Oh, there's another, okay, there's another enemy. That's, that's what that was, okay. I like the style of this. The art style is cool. I'm just trying to get it anyway. Okay, so I gotta I gotta pick a card reward. So I can get jab, which deals three damage, and gives me a momentum. I can dodge to move one tile and gain momentum. Let's go with dodge. Let's hit the alleyway up. So it's like Slay the Spire, but with like you know action movies. Think about distance. Uh, use momentum to ensure you control the fight space. Do I can trap the corners? Use your environment, your advantage. Environmental takedowns do lots of damage. Enemies will automatically be knocked out if they are pushed out of the player regardless of health. Once an enemy is committed to attacking, they will attack regardless of you standing in front of them. Defeat all enemies within the turn. Though. Makes sense. Alright. This one looks a bit beefier than the other two. That one's got a gun. Um, yeah. Okay. We still don't have to worry about. Alright. Let's punch him in the face. Then. Shift past. Because I am momentum back for doing that. Um, I don't have any way to push that person. I'm gonna block. Okay, I think I got a lot of movement based cards and not so many attack based cards. Which my board ill for this particular turn. Um, okay. Okay, so he, he did damage. I did damage to both of those people there. That's good. Hold on, let me just... So I'm gonna shove you. You're out of bounds. You're done. the gun couldn't be an issue. Okay, I don't want to go that way. What do we got? We'll just slip over here. There's no point in not using that. Oh, there's another guy with another, another person with a gun showing up. So I'm gonna get shot if I stay in my current location. Um. Huh. 
That might be a that might be my end move. Kick you out of bounds. Push you. I might have an I might have a solution here. Step here. And then use takedown to smile smash him against the wall. He's still gonna hit me. But I got out of the way of the gunshot, knocked the guy out. Okay. So you can so I can't make that they're gonna shoot if they're aiming at me. Gotcha. Um, okay, I need to move out of the way. Hmm, I can't. Is there a way to undo? No, okay. So there's no way to undo a turn. Okay, gotcha. That could be interesting. So let's. Okay, I can get out of the way. That guy should get shot. Another guy's turned up. I gotta defeat all these people in, in one turn? I don't see how I'm gonna do that. Um, alright. Push. Step. Front kick. Can't reach either of those two. Oh, I just needed to survive. It was like, defeat the enemies. I was like, but it says survive. So this is pretty fun. This is pretty engaging. Like, I'm liking the way... I'm liking the way it... Like, you can stick everything together. Force a character and move two tiles towards you. Push... Enemies one tile opposite directions and deal four hours. We'll do that. So we can go to a gym or we can go to a medical. I don't know what either of those things are, but I haven't taken any damage, so we'll go to the gym. So I can buy cards at the gym, or I can upgrade cards. Jump kick for forty-five pound. Advance deal ten damage. Range two. Throw knock down and deal four damage. Focus gain one momentum. Improvisation add a random attack card. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. I'm going to have a look at this. Let's have a look. So this is very Slay the Spire. And it's mechanics. Um, so I can, I can upgrade. I think I want really. Let's upgrade and quick strike makes it do nine damage. Okay, let's just go on to have a push. And we'll also add stun. Block adds more block. Take down. Does one does does nothing? Front kick. I don't think I can upgrade any of these guys with the amount of money I've got. I think they're all going to cost 120 pounds. So we'll just back out of that, and that that'll do. I got a new card. We'll go and see the ambassador. Yeah, I like the way you, you've got to think, like about how to. About how to like the strategy behind like okay these are the cards I've got how do I combine them to do enough damage okay it looks like we've got a new a new twist here's your sworn duty to protect the British ambassador if he's killed and you lose frightened and will not move on his own accord need to use all the tricks you're supposed to move him around and out of danger the ambassador will not take damage from your attacks and you can use this to your advantage okay 
It makes a lot of sense to me. So I can, I can, I have to use my cards to manipulate the ambassador to move around the board, and I guess that's simple. It's okay. Okay. So he's going. They're going to attack the ambassador. They're not going to do anything. Um. Let's front kick you so you get out of the way. Um. Then jump kick you. Okay. Just use my cards because I can, to be fair. I don't know how the deck works, but I assume once you've used all the cards in your deck, it just reshuffles everything back in. <clears throat> okay. So the ambassador is going to get not going to get attacked from three different sides. So this is going to be from two different sides. So I'm going to step to here, push you out of the way. do anything to stop this from happening. I'll block. The ambassador's gonna get hit. Now there's a person with a gun. Ooh, this is... I feel this being a tough... being a very tough game. Okay. That bar being there doesn't help. Okay. I feel like the game could do with a, a button that lets me, um, like, undo stuff so I can experiment. Because otherwise you've got to put a lot of thought into what you're going to do before you actually do it. So, they've got 25 health, they've got 3 health, I can sh shift. I need to not be standing here. I only have one... Oh shit. I only have one real... Movement... Ability available. Which is less than ideal. Push. I gotta separate. Shove works too. I can get one of them out of the way. But I don't know how I get back. If I had separate. Because he's going nowhere. From where he is. I don't think. Again, it's not like I can push him out of the way. See, there's a, there's a thing in the way. Can't even restart a level. You literally got to restart the whole demo. Um. Now it's going to attack me. And there's not nothing really I can do about any of. I can move you out of the way. This won't do anything, so I'm going to get shot. The ambassador's going to get punched. That bar being in the way is really bad for.
No one's in any real danger of getting hurt in this turn. Which I guess kind of makes up for next turn. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got a jump kick. Jump kick out of the level. Front kick. We can push. Step and we can quick strike. Nine health, three health. I think the ambassador is going to get killed. Because <laughs> I can't push him out of the way. Oh, he's on one. Alright. Like, if I could just swap positions with him, even, it'd be mega helpful. It's like shifting in both directions is... <sighs> really kind of screwed by the look, by the, the look of the draw. Because I think even if I take this person down, which I can't now. I don't do anything now. The ambassador's gone down. Fight failed, yeah. I mean, yeah? Do I have to do the training again? Tell me I have to do the training again. Alright. Well, we're gonna go again. Just to try and get a bit into it. A bit more into it. I know how to play. Now that I've got some knowledge of, of what's going on. Um, I'm just going to take this guy. No, that doesn't actually take him down. Um, step back. Are we good? Let's see where we've got. Neither of those cards are helpful because there's no enemies. Okay. At least this part. I mean, I guess it depends. I, that ambassador level didn't feel too great. I do get that you have to kind of play the hand you dealt. That was quite difficult. Throat punch. Reducing income damage by minus six, deal six damage to each attack. Let's, okay, let's try that. There's a card. Okay, just gotta survive for six turns in a never ending. Never ending fight. 
like the music, like the art style, love the, the, the idea behind the game. Okay. First things first. Love that card. Let's block. Push you in here, in here's attack. What's that arrow? And then just step back and watch the magic happen. Oh, he's getting pushed. Oh, you're pushed out of the way of the. Okay, I see. I see. You got pushed out of the way of the attack. Alright. Shift around here. Knock you out. I don't need a counter, so you did. Bang! And the bad guy is gone. There's another bad guy. Two more bad guys coming in. Okay. Step moves in one direction. Blah, 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 blah. How oh, cool, you can just take down adjacently. That's good. I don't really want to do any of those things. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to move the guy with that's going to get shot out of the way of getting shot. Because then he won't get shot. I guess, I wonder if that's defeat all enemies within the timeline. It's just like a bonus thing. Might be able to get out of the way. Yeah. yeah no. Oh, I'm not out of the way. I'll use that. I don't think it's gonna do anything with a bullet. Though. Surprisingly, do not. <laughs> Countering a bullet would have been impressive. Though. You gotta admit. The only damaging attack I have is takedown. Which wouldn't really help. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Saying that I can't get out of the way. I don't, you know, I can't. I, I could, but I'll, all I'll do is expose myself to getting a bullet. That's going to do four damage. That's going to do fifteen damage. Oops, sorry. I mean, I know what I'd rather take. Oh, he's pushed me back. No. Ow! A beautiful, beautiful face! He's just pushing? I guess he's a pusher? I need to survive for one more turn. I can move around you. I wish I had a tank down right now. But I'll front kick it. Alright. 
That's that fight complete. Vault over an obstacle into an empty tile. Game one momentum. Force enemy to attack immediately. Discard a random card. Remove it with three tiles. Uh, we're going to try taunt. Okay, so there's not just healing. So I can heal for 60 pounds. I can remove a card from my deck. If I... I only have 60 quid. I healed. Yeah, I healed. Alright, that's cool. And injuries. Remove injuries. Okay, interesting. So we're back to the level that knacked us before. Um, so let's have a look. See, we need to move him out of the way so that we can go around. Because otherwise he's just going to get cornered. You know? This is literally, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Sorry for swearing. I probably messed that turn up. Um... There's nothing I could have done to prevent that, that that attack from happening. Which is frustrating, to be honest. More than anything else. I need to get you out of the way. How do I get you out of the way? Can't. I've already I'm already I've already lo I've already locked in with the ambassador. I have to move you. have to get into that space. Brilliant. I guess this is a very literal. Literal thing. Okay, I'm just getting after Hmm. This I'm not a fan of. This this I'm not a not a great fan of. You're shooting there. The isometric makes it a bit difficult to see that. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna have anything to count now. Would have been a good card to have this time. Okay, the ambassador's gonna get shot unless I move them out of the way. I'm gonna have to front kick. Sorry! the way of that, I'm going to get shot. Unless I taunt him to see his shot now. Then move. <laughs> Just putting my body on the line for the British, the old British ambassador. Okay. Same situation. Let's be real. So I'm gonna quick strike you, and then I'm gonna take you down. I 
slamming your head off the bar. I love the I love the way like it doesn't just disappear immediately, and it's like it's contextually animated. So he's like leaning up against the bar. I mean, I don't really want to move, so I'm gonna counter. Take that, take, take less damage, less damage. Not no damage, but less damage. Shove and push. Get out of my face. Can I taunt you into shooting the, your own guy in the back? Yes, I can. <laughs> yes. Yes, I can. Okay. You've already shot. I could draw out the shot. The guy to shoot me, I think. Yeah. So what do we got? Move past the saga. We're gonna use takedown because it's a super hardcore move. Um, I don't want to. I don't really want to shift though. I'll shove you up onto the bar. That would have been that would have been cool. Um, let's try shifting to to this square. I'm just gonna put some damage on him. I like the bullet holes that are appearing too. It's cool. Okay, that's a weird direction to shift in, but. And then I guess we spend the next turn working on the guy with the gun. Okay. We don't have 20 damage in us. But I can kick you. And then I can... Push you to the side so you're not gonna hit me. Then that's really it, unless I wanna unless I wanna move again. Okay. Let's see what we've got. I think we can just take him out. Yeah, there we go. Fight complete. And it looks like we get a cool cool card, so we could heal. All cards cost minus one while this card is in hand. Knock down and deal four damage. We'll get a flaw state card going. So we'll do we'll do one more level as part of the um, as part of this thing. There's there's like a lot. I th I, I don't I think the grayed out stuff is. I don't know what's part of the demo and what's not, but we'll do one more level um, as part of this preview. What the freaking heck am I up to? There we go. So we go to a restroom or we go to a bar. I right, go bar fight. So we'll go. We'll go bar. We'll go to the bar. Have a drink. Oh no! People are trying to beat us up. No, I want to protect. I like it. I'm already a fan. Okay. At right, six block, push one tall. Do 
I'm getting into the music of it, but... Um... But I like the idea behind this game a lot. Like it's like it's taken that 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 like visceral sort of action movie fight choreography that you would see in like John Wick, and it's applying it to an actual like video game, which is awesome. Everything in my hand is free. <laughs> um, fantastic. So I'm gonna hit you with a takedown. And then I'm gonna push you out of the way. And then I'm gonna get out of the way. And then just for shits and giggles, we'll talk. Lol. <laughs> so I, I don't know whether the state will stay in my hand or not because I don't play it, but I doubt it. Cooler for did though. Free cards for life. Oh, dude. I guess you just draw in your hand um, out of your deck each and every time, which is which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. Um, get you out out of the way. I think is a good first step. Which healthy you on nineteen. So if I do that. That. Smash your head into the bar. You're gonna attack me, but I'm gonna block six of it. I'm gonna block six of it and then take him out. Oh, I love, I love the animation again. I love the animation again. Just like he goes straight out, but he's out over the bar. Phenomenal. All right, we're in a float stack again. This is good. This is good. Push isn't really gonna, I'm gonna push you. Just so you're out of the way. I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna quick strike you, and then I'm gonna take the block just because I can. There's an enemy spawner here. If I'm lucky, I'll get something where I can just immediately push that enemy out of the, the level. If I'm not lucky, well, we'll see what happens. Front kick. So I'm gonna kick you, and you're gone. Bye. <laughs> you're out, sorry. We're not serving your your lot in, in here today. Um I can slip by you to get here. And then I can smash you off against that table. Amazing. Um and then I'm probably gonna step out of the way of the attack if I'm being completely honest. Okay, so there's another guy turning up here. What happens if I am occupying that space? Not a great turn. Great shift. Might as well heat you. Might as well activate that because it's free. Then I'll activate that just for the heck of it. Again, when all the cards are free, you might as well use them more. If I get that card where I can just shove you to the side, that would be amazing. See you later. Okay. I got a strategy. It's really cool when this when when you can like when you look at your cards, you look at the enemies, and like the strategies just just come together. Like 
I'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel in the rhythm of it. I wasn't a massive fan of the the protecting ambassador sort of bit, but you know what? I'm really, really starting to dig the way this game works. Okay, so I can shift to any one of those four missions. If I slip, I can slip to here. I can kick you into the path of the gun. And I can even have the gun go off. I don't, I don't, I know I said play cards when they're free, but I don't want to play that card. I'm quite happy with where I'm standing right now. Now I'm less happy with where I'm standing right now. Um, nuts. I've got no move. I've got, no, I've got one move, but it's not. Shot. I've got enough blocks to take it without. I was quite happy with. Actually, I, I know I've played the count. Actually, I can just move here. I don't know why I'm worried. I was like, oh no! And then, yeah, actually, I can just sidestep to the left. I wasn't looking. I was, I was so focused on how I could take the enemies down that I didn't realize I could just move out of the way. As you do. So these are all movement based. Um, so if I shift behind you and then I can push you in the way of the gunshot. I can block because why not. Um, and then just Flip to the right. To the right, yeah. That is right. There we go. That gunner's not having a great time with friendly fire. Today, I'm just saying. And this guy should be easy enough to take out with a quick kick. Boom! We did it. Fight complete. I really want to keep playing more of this game, but this that's been my demo preview of Fights in Tight Spaces coming sometime in 2020 from developer Grand Shot and Publisher Mode 7. Really enjoyed it. Um, there are a couple of frustrating moments, but it, it that's just the nature of card games. Sometimes you don't get the cards you need, sometimes things go wrong. Um, but I love the art style of this game, I love the concept, I love the idea. I love the way the cards can all feed into one another. I love the fact that every every round is like a puzzle, where it's like you're going to try and figure out the, back, like the optimal strategy to get through it. I can't wait to play more of this game. Um, it is fantastic but i'm gonna leave the preview there so thank you very much for watching if you've watched this video and have a great day